Valens Research, Uniform Financial Analytics. Kimberly Clark is interesting because for the rest of these, right, we've been talking about more positive things about how the market misunderstands how good this business is. For Kimberly Clark, the market actually thinks this company is cheaper than it really is, and so therefore is misunderstanding what this company needs to deliver to justify current valuations. Kimberly Clark, the as reported PE is around 19 times. That's roughly in line with market valuations of around 20 times on an as reported basis. So basically, you look at Kimberly Clark and you say, oh, the market's basically pricing this company to perform in line with the market, right? To perform in line with the average corporation, to have mo modest earnings growth and really stable returns, right? Modest growth and stable returns. In reality, this company is trading at a 26 times multiple. The average uniform accounting multiple right now is around 21 times. This company is trading at a basically a 20 to 30% premium to what the market is pricing for the average company. And this is not a company that's going to have phenomenal, robust growth anytime in the near future. It's a consumer staples company that makes toilet paper and Kleenex, right? Um, and so when you look at this, what's interesting is, we can even see that misrepresentation of what um, this company, this misunderstanding of what this company could do when we look at these white bars again, right? If you remember, these white bars are what the market is pricing at the current stock price for the company. If the company can outperform what these white bars are, it's undervalued. But if it can't outperform, if it actually falls below these white bars, the stock price is going to drop when the market realizes the market was too bullish on the name. Kimberly Clark hasn't seen ROAs that were ever in its history over 12%, and yet the market's pricing them to get to 17% levels. Kimberly Clark has also consistently been shrinking to be able to help maintain and slightly boost their ROAs. The market knows that's probably going to continue. So let's just do a quick scenario analysis. So let's say, what could this company be worth if it shrinks a little less, but its ROAs basically plateau around 12% levels? Let's see. If that happens, Kimberly Clark is overvalued by almost a th by over a third. The stock shouldn't be at one hundred and thirty dollars; it should be at eighty dollars, right? This is a company that, if the, once the market realizes that this company is a stable, low growth business, and the market's pricing it for a lot more than that, this stock is going to come down. But you wouldn't be able to see that using as reported metrics because you'd look at the as reported P and say, "Yeah, it's trading at a slight discount to the market." That makes sense. It's a stable business that I can trust and have high visibility in, even if it's not going to have high growth. So that makes sense. In reality, it doesn't. And these are the kind of insights that we can see when we use uniform accounting as opposed to using the distorted as reported metrics. Valens Research, the world's leading source for uniform financial analytics.